hello welcome back to the channel and uh, we have this this um, 4g light 3 in 1 supposed to um, support a hotspot and can connect up to 10 devices the good thing with this um you can connect to any power source can be your phone adapter your phone charging adapter yeah it's more advanced to this this the modem that you are used to the mac os and um, in this video, I'm going to configure this uh, for the light USB modem. And I'm going to unbox it and configure it. This is my first time uh, holding this and having this modem, and I love it. So we're going to configure this with you guys. Uh, it has a manual, this uh, USB manual. Okay, it, okay. It's just going to configure it with you guys. Because I'm um, having this for the first time and I've been seeing it online and uh, so let's try. I'm going to open this. So for the light, it looks good. Mm -hmm. This one has uh, and these the keys and blah blah blah. So here you open this way you're going to plug on your um, any adapter that you have. So this is a SIM card slot. You're going to put the SIM card right there. And okay, for now you don't have any SIM card, but I hope it will still connect. You don't have have a SIM card right now. So first thing I'm going to connect my uh, modem to the power. And uh, to my case, I'm going to use the um, my phone charging adapter. Let me show you. Yeah, this is what I'm going to use. I'm just going to uh, to put it like that and I'm going to plug in on power and I'm going to show you how like how plug in on power. So this is where I'm going to put I'm just going to put it uh, there and um yeah it's blinking you can see the power is blinking and uh, after plugging it I'm going to go back to my laptop let me push so that you can see both of them at the same time you can see our that's our modem and this is the laptop that we are going to configure it using this laptop okay so guys you can see uh, that's our that's our modem let me push a little bit so that you can see it and uh, according to this manual we are going to let it uh, until it turns to a blue color so that you can see it on our wi-fi we'll wait until it's read so this is our this is our wi-fi this the um, this is the wi-fi for the modem so what you do we will click on uh, connect to connect to our modem which is 4g u f i yeah so you are going to connect on this and uh, it's uh, calling for for the person and uh, the password is uh, right here after going to this this is also our, our um, ssid name and this is our password so this is what we're going uh, to fill it uh, right here so it's what uh, the password it can't focus it can't focus 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 let me show you okay okay the password was uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine and zero click next uh click yes so it's saying um it is connected so next thing i'm going to open my browser my laptop is a uh, kind of newly installed so I'm going just to use uh, Microsoft Explore and we are going to use this uh, IP address. This is the IP address. It's, um, we're going to Google this and search 182.168.100.1. That's what we're going to enter right there. so let's wait and here it's our it's uh, bringing that's our 4g light 
recruiter and it has a password. Now the password for logging in, it, uh, it has a default password for logging in. Uh, and the password for logging in, it's, uh, this is the admin logging password that we're going to use to log in to this router. So it's going to type admin and click uh, log in. So you can see our router, like our modem is still on there. So, so guys, I'm going to just zoom in this one. Let me zoom in a little bit and uh, I'm going to change the Wi-Fi keys and password, Wi-Fi SSD and password. So here yeah, I'm going to click on Wi-Fi settings and we're going to change this name. This is our Wi-Fi SSID. I'm going to change any name you want. I'll put a pick hub and uh, this I'll set it to broadcast so that I leave the way it is. And uh, this two, I'll leave the way it is. And password, I'm going to still change it. I see this as our password one up to 10. So I'm going to change it to any other password. The same password. And um, you can uh, click uh, this uh, QR code for the Wi Fi password, but I'll uh, choose to, to not show it. Then I'll click modify and uh, I'll click OK. Then I'll uh, proceed to advanced settings and this was my IP address for the, you remember, the modem. So it has to log me out so we have to log in one more and uh, one more time. So this uh, this that that's it. You see it is we have set and we are going to log into this, this is our router now. We are going to log in with our new new password. And log in. Let's wait a little bit. Our modem is still there. You can uh, see our modem. Yeah, it's uh, still blinking on. So you can see it is connected, but uh, we don't have internet because uh, we didn't uh, we not insert any SIM card. So I'm going to refresh this again go back to the website the 4g website you refresh and here you have the advanced setting if you click on advanced setting here you can change your ip address you can see how the subnet mask and the hcp you can either try to change this or leave it as it is here you have the apm this uh i'll just choose to leave it we have the upgrade, we have the system password, or you can set the system password right here so that only you can log into the system password. You can modify the TTL and uh, change the TTL value, but I'll choose, it okay, cannot be empty, but I'll choose to leave it like that. Others, this is the network name and the manufacturers. So this is the overview, and our uh, overview says that uh, our CCD name, and we are only connected to one device. So thank you guys for watching this video and if you really love this gadget, um, contact me and comment uh, on the comment section. Tell me how you know about this device, tell me more about this device because I, because I just found it and uh, guys, I love this. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.